would have been John F. Kennedy's 98th birthday if not for that fateful day in Dallas. Conspiracy theories surrounding JFK's assassination have been around almost from day one. Now, more than a half century later, the final batch of federal records linked to President Kennedy's death are finally in the process of being released. The special team has been set up in the National Archives to go through 40,000 intelligence documents. Among them, nearly 4,000 of them that have been completely withheld until now. The law says they must be released by the fall of 2017, but it's not a done deal. Intelligence agencies can keep them hidden if the sitting president agrees. So the decision will be in the hands of whoever wins the White House next. Michael Beschloss is NBC's presidential historian. He joins me this morning from Washington. Good to see you. Hi, uh, same here, Jose. Thanks. What do you hope is in these documents, Michael? Well, I think what we'd all hope is that there is an answer that's going to satisfy everyone about who killed John Kennedy in 1963. Tragically, no matter what's in the, what is in these documents, I don't think we're going to find that. So what could be in these documents and why would, have they been withheld from the public for so long? Well, you know, as you said, the law in 1992 that said you had to release millions of documents even vaguely related to the assassination said that they could be kept secret for a couple of reasons. One is revealing things like sources of methods uh, and methods of our intelligence agencies. So my guess is that probably what is keeping most of these back is that they will show something that the U.S. government in these recent years considers still sensitive about the CIA or the FBI or maybe relations with friendly nations. And do you think all the documents will ultimately be released? Probably not. Uh, there are still probably reasons to keep a few of them back, and you can only guess what those might be. But I think anyone who is just imagining that in October of, of 2017, at midnight, a vault is going to open, there's going to be the final answer to the Kennedy assassination, I just don't think that's going to happen. The tragic thing, among you know many other tragedies, is that since 1963, this has been to a great degree a traumatized country. We've never had closure. And one of the reasons for that is that people still do not have the answer to the question. Yeah, and so many of these conspiracy theories aren't necessarily based not even on a shred of evidence. Others base themselves on some dispatches, some cables, some information right. here and information there. Is there anything you think that could ever be presented that could clear up one way or another what exactly did happen? No, because 51 years have been 51 years of conspiracy theories, yeah. and people are very dug in. This was a country before 1963 that did not really believe in conspiracies. One of the results of November 22nd is that since then, we do a lot about all sorts of things, sadly. Michael Bashaw, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you for being me with too. me. Me too. Thank you, Jose. All the best. Coming up on the